it's been a while. It's been a long couple of months. Uh, so I'm cleaning. So <laughs> we're getting ready to sell this place here um, that I bought a couple years ago. And I would like to take the time to point out the fact that I still have a DVD slash VHS player and I am mighty proud of that. But that's not the best part. I have not one, but two, three VHS players. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hoarding issue, but these are backups in case the other one that's hooked up dies. Because honestly, if you grew up with Disney movies on VHS, you have to have the grainy quality on the TV screen, which these new fancy uh, TVs don't have that same quality. Um, but I'm not giving up my VHS players. I will hoard those until the very end. So we have the U-Haul truck until four o'clock tomorrow. Um, the realtor is coming by with a photographer to get pictures of this whole place. And it echoes in here, it echoes a lot, which I'm not used to because I'm good at accumulating things. But currently all I have are my plants and patio furniture, the couch, coffee table, um, entertainment set, my antique rolling desk, and then like anything and everything that could fit into the kitchen cabinets and the closet cabinets. So, uh, we're still looking at places and houses and options and state lines and county lines and property lines. And it, yeah, it, it just goes into a whole nother level when it comes to like health coverage with Medtronic because we're um, dealing with some issues, so. That's, that's a whole nother issue, but it's been a lot in a small time frame. And I'm really happy that I got the week off. So originally, Corey and I were planning on going to Montreal for vacation just because he had some PTO to burn before the end of the year, before he lost it. And yeah, there was a kerfuffle with um, applying for jobs and accepting jobs and then reassessing where we wanted to be in life in the world. And do you have an opinion, sir? I think you do. <laughs> he doesn't like the, the moving and cleaning process. Um, anyway, so we ended up deciding that as a whole, we want to stay where we're at now. So that's where all of this ended up being at. This is totally not on topic, but that's okay. My key fobs for my car, I have a Nissan Juke. It's yellow and it's adorable. Um, there's no like actual key to start the car. It's just a push button. It's, it's worked really well. Um, but lately my key fob, ah, has not been working to like lock and unlock the car. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's been starting perfectly well. Found out today there's a key inside the key fob. Anyway, <laughs> so, and I had a feeling cause when my auto start uh, had the same issue is because of the batteries. So, and I tried, I have two key fobs. And I have a vague recollection of when I lived in my charming little basement apartment that I was having the same issue and I just swapped the key fobs out because I didn't have time to mess with it and I didn't know where to go for batteries at that time. So I just didn't worry about it and figured I'll know better next time. 98% sure that's what happened because that's what I was going to do this time and then the little spider brain kicked in and said, nah, I think you've already done that maneuver. You can't swap the key fobs out. So I tested one out and yeah, that one was completely dead. So I found out that I have one of these and I don't remember which one I need. 
but there's different sizes. So according to YouTube videos, <laughs> I get to tear this apart and I'm sensing it's not going to be the easiest because this plastic is not the highest quality. However, um, I'm supposed to meet Corey and Fargo in the morning and it is, we're supposed to get one to three inches of snow and it's right around 30 to 33 degrees outside and it's really windy out. So it's, it's going to try to stay snowy. It's going to try to melt and it's also going to try to freeze. And if my car decides that, no, I don't want to start for you, you can be stranded in Fargo or you can be stranded here and not be able to get to town. Um, I, I just need to get these keys figured out. Um, so I got to run all the way to Walmart. I haven't used these since like the old school days of the old um, blood sugar meters. So, but Walmart had one, one of these CR 2025. Um, so that's good. So uh, we have to be in Fargo tomorrow for um, the first meeting on getting our house planned. So gotta tackle this first though. So, ah! Oh my gosh, no, come back. Oh uh, no. So this is fun. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, hi, eating crab legs. You have to get it in the right spot. Ow. Oh my gosh. I really don't want to break this. So I have to be on the road by 7.30 in the morning. Batteries plus doesn't open until eight. And Really wish somebody else could have assumed responsibility for this than me because. No! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, move. This is gonna result in a band aid. I just know it. Oh. Ow. I mean, I will get the batteries credit, they've lasted all these years. Yahtzee. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. So it's April. Um, first week of April is almost done. This is why I, oh, there we go. <laughs> this is why I wanted to get that key fob issue sorted out because um, it's just a wonderful, beautiful spring day. So, you know. Huh. You enjoying the weather? No. 